What's up reefers, welcome back to Ash's channel and to my Innovative Marine 50 gallon build series. Today we are going to build Cheto Reactor. So what is a Cheto Reactor? It is a reactor where you will be able to grow algae and uh, pods. Uh, when I say algae, you could grow Cheeto, you could grow any other type of algae as well. Anyone can utilize this, uh, you know, for somebody who does not have a refugium or somebody who does not have an option to uh, put an algae scrubber, a Cheeto reactor is an alternative for you to uh, grow Cheeto and yet be able to reduce your uh, phosphates in your tank. In order to make the Cheeto reactor, you will need a reactor. Uh, the bigger the better, you could pick up any size you want to. Uh, some sorts of uh, strip light. Uh, in my case, I picked up the top LED uh, grow light ordered from Amazon. I'll put the um, uh, website address in the description below. Any kind of small pump, I use the MaxiJet 1200. Uh, the flow is still strong on this, so I will control it by the, the valve on top of the reactor and a couple of uh, tie wraps it's uh, very fairly simple but yet it has a good potential to grow pods and uh, you know uh, cheeto in your uh, in your system i will be utilizing a cheeto reactor for two reasons uh, a is to grow pods uh, where they can multiply and b is to reduce nutrients uh, i am still using a gfo reactor to control my phosphate but I guess the extra punch will always be helpful to your system. So the first thing you do is remove all the sponges that come with the reactor as you do not want them to be a nitrate factory and also remove the Fosban uh, sticker as it will block the light penetration. The next thing you would do is uh, open up the box of the top LED and uh, install that. In the box you have a power adapter that then after it comes with uh, some clips that you will be using in this project it also comes with a user manual and last but not least uh, the led strip light very well packed and then once you open the uh, strip led if you could see it comes in a nice roll so you could measure it based on the size of the reactor and this uh, adapter goes into the power adapter that provides the power to uh, the uh, LED strip light. So what I did was install the uh, strip light, uh, the external of the strip light goes into the uh, reactor uh, using a couple of tie wraps and super glue. And it was pretty straightforward. As you can see, the reactor is uh, complete and uh, the strip light is facing the inner side of the reactor so when you turn it on the light penetration is on the inner side into the reactor which is what you want so let's go ahead and turn this thing on and uh, here it is it is completed uh, the reactor is fully fledged working i have uh, added some uh, kato into the reactor for now just to see how it works i doubt the kato will uh, grow for now because uh, the tank is pretty new there is barely any nutrients in the uh, in the system but regardless it you could always give it a try and you give it you know you kind of get an idea on how it looks once it is completed now you can adjust the flow based on the valve i'm just showing what kind of flow i'm running through the reactor i might have to uh, play around with it so i hope you guys like the how to video on the cheetah reactor i will be continuing to build the videos on this uh, tank as it matures if you guys do like it please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button until then happy reefing